During the last weeks of this campaign, there will be debates, speeches, and more ads. But if I could sit down with you in your living room or around the kitchen table, here's what I'd say. When I took office, we were losing nearly 800,000 jobs a month and were mired in a ruck. Today, I believe that as a nation, we are moving forward again. But we have much more to do to get folks back to work and make the middle class secure again. Now, Governor Romney believes that with even bigger tax cuts for the wealthy and fewer regulations on Wall Street, all of us will prosper. In other words, he doubled down on the same trickle-down policies that led to the crisis in the first place. So what's my plan? First, we create a million new manufacturing jobs and help businesses double their exports, give tax breaks to companies that invest in America, not that ship jobs overseas. Second, we cut our oil imports in half and produce more American-made energy. Oil, clean coal, natural gas, and new resources like wind, solar, and biofuels all while doubling the fuel efficiency of cars and trucks. Third, we ensure that we maintain the best workforce in the world by preparing 100,000 additional math and science teachers, training 2 million Americans with the job skills they need at our community colleges, cutting the growth of tuition in half and expanding student aid so more Americans can afford it. Fourth, a balanced plan to reduce our deficit by $4 trillion over the next decade. On top of the trillion in spending we've already cut, I'd ask the wealthy to pay a little more. And as we end the war in Afghanistan, let's apply half the savings to pay down our debt and use the rest for some nation building right here at home. It's time for a new economic patriotism, rooted in the belief that growing our economy begins with a strong, thriving middle class. Read my plan, compare it to Governor Romney's, and decide for yourself. Thanks for listening. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message.